in the first time the great hyperspace core was found. With it came the gift of interstellar travel and the Outer Rim trade routes were established, uniting the galaxy in peace. discovered on a desert planet. the galaxy and it is she who will lead them again her name is Karen Sajet this is the story of the end time we know this because the third core has been found under the dark influence of this core the Taidan have risen under a new leader a vaguer warrior lord named Makan. He calls himself the Sajukar, the Chosen One. Many systems have already fallen under his shadow, and his eyes are set upon the gun. Deep inside the great derelict at Tanis, construction of a new mothership is underway. The pride of Vigara. Once more, the exiles will face the coming darkness. This is Fleet Command. Stand by for hyperspace core transfer. Containment unit online. All power signatures in the green. Primary couplings released. Trajectory is good. The hyperspace core is away. base has been destroyed. The Vagar have launched a massive invasion. Higaran outposts are falling all across the inner rim. The crew of the mothership is making an emergency departure and planetary defense systems are standing by. Before we can mount a counterattack, we must rendezvous with the mothership's crew. We will exit hyperspace in the shadow of the Angel Moon. A rally point has been established at this location. Prepare for enemy contact. Our home. Children of Haigara, you are beaten. The sector is now under my control. Stand down and prepare for Vega occupation. I have come to claim what is mine. Return the second core, and I will spare your home world. Higara can resist the Vega siege, but only for a limited time. The shipyard at Serum will allow us to rebuild our fleet. We must secure this asset before it falls to the Vega. Stand by for arrival at Serum. For thousands of years, the old Kith clans worshipped Sejuk as the great maker whose hands shapes what is. In 
It appears he is neither god nor myth. He is real. And Makan knows this. Gena is a large asteroid field located beyond the outer rim, deep within the Vega reaches. The Bentuzi have given us the coordinates of the Oracle. Intelligence data indicates there is a large military installation protecting extensive archaeological dig sites. It is surrounded by hyperspace inhibitors. We have located a weak point. Prepare to disengage hyperspace. Data from the Vega base confirms extensive archaeological digs are underway across this entire sector. The coordinates provided to us by the Bentuzi indicate the Oracle is located here. We must recover the Oracle before the enemy. Hyperdrive malfunction. Emergency override not responding. The Oracle is interfering with the hyperspace nav systems. It has taken over our course. Stand by for emergency hyperspace exit. When we entered hyperspace, the Oracle redirected us to its last known position. Using data retrieved from the derelict, we have been able to translate the Oracle memory banks. The wreckage appears to be the bridge section of a much larger progenitor ship. A powerful dreadnought ship is located within the aft section of the wreck. It is referred to as the Gatekeeper of Sajuk. Deep scan telemetry indicates this progenitor ship broke apart 10,000 years ago and has been drifting through this sector ever since. Hyperspace coordinates locked in. The movers are progenitor AI constructs. They know no age, no despair. All this time, they have tendered the derelicts of their masters. From their memory banks, we have learned that the progenitors were not indigenous to our galaxy. This section of hull was once a massive foundry where the three hyperspace cores were forged. Coordinates have been set for the aft section of the wreck, where the dreadnought is located. The prophecy states, He who unites the three will unleash the great maker, Sajuk. While ancient, the Dreadnought's control matrix and crew interface are compatible with ours. It has advanced weapon systems and a powerful phased cannon array. However, many of its systems are offline. Accessing the Dreadnought's memory banks, the ship seems to be the control mechanism for a progenitor artifact of some kind. We can use the Dreadnought to strike the Vega with overwhelming force. Captain Soban has given us the coordinates of a key enemy assembly point. The shipyard Nabal will rendezvous with us there. Prepare to exit hyperspace. There is a second Dreadnought. Makan has it. <laughs> 